<laughs> Thank you so much, Dallas, and happy retirement to Senator. Well, earlier this week, news broke of Bruce Willis stepping away from his acting career. His family announced he has a condition called aphasia. But what do we know about this condition and who's at risk? And joining us now with more is Dr. Michiko Bruno, who's a neurologist at the Queens Medical Center. Good morning, doctor. Thanks so much for joining us today. Good morning, Christine. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, of course. Can you talk to us more about aphasia and what this condition is? Yes, so aphasia is a language disorder. So in the brain, there is a language center, usually on the left side of the brain for most people. And what, when that language center is damaged, that results in inability to communicate using language function. So that could be very frustrating for our patients and families. And when you have aphasia, um, sometimes you have difficulty expressing yourself, speaking fluently, finding the right words, substituting words, or you could also have difficulty understanding. So you might not be able to follow conversation or follow commands, or you might not be able to read or write. So again, it's very frustrating for patients and families and their loved ones. I can understand it's very scary as well. How do you get aphasia mm -hmm. and, and who's most at risk? Yeah, so um, many, actually many different medical condition can result in aphasia. So for one of the most common reason is a stroke. But when you have stroke, it's very abrupt. One, day, one moment you're fine and next moment you may lose the ability to communicate. And of course, um, as you get older, you're a little bit higher risk of stroke. And if you had a vascular risk factor, such as high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, or smoke, or you're a little bit higher risk for stroke. But um, other conditions like head trauma or brain tumor can also cause aphasia, and that could happen to anybody. And then I wanted to also mention that certain neurodegenerative disease, which, is, which causes dementia, like Alzheimer disease, um, but also there is a less well-known disease called primary progressive aphasia. And that, um, I, I mean, I'm going to speculate here a little bit, but that may be what uh, Mr. Willis may have, but um, that happens gradually and seniors uh, at high risk for this people over age 60 or 65. And we don't really know the cause for these kind of rare degenerative dementia condition. And once someone is diagnosed, what's the treatment for aphasia? Yeah, so um, it is very challenging. Once the brain is damaged, it is um, difficult to cure the condition. But there are therapies, a rehabilitation technique, for example, speech therapy to try to relearn, retrain the brain. And also um, controlling things like sleep, anxiety is extremely important because of course, if you have don't sleep well or if you're tired, anxious, the symptom gets worse. So it is very supportive, but it could be very frustrating for patients and families. Very frustrating. And we're learning more about this condition. Mm -hmm. It really exactly. is. A, yeah, it, it is a very scary condition, but there is more information mm -hmm. out there and doctors like yourself, Dr. Bruno, who can help. Mm -hmm. So we thank you so much mm -hmm. and we appreciate your time. Yes, thank you so much for having me.